Good day, Deep and Word family. Welcome to day 70 of our Bible study review. Today we are going through chapters 13 through 15, and today is going to be a little bit different from the other studies. And that is because we are literally going to map out the allotment, the inheritance for the tribes of Israel. Now, chapter 13 opens up and it tells us that Yahuwah spoke to Joshua and he tells him, look, you are very old in years, but there is much of the land that is still not conquered yet. And Yahuwah says that he will drive out the inhabitants from the hill country of Lebanon. So Yahuwah tells Joshua, make sure that he divides the plot of land for the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh on the east side of the Jordan. So the rest of chapter 13 is literally about the allotment of land, the inheritance for the tribe of Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh on the east side of the Jordan, as Moses had promised them back in Deuteronomy 32. Now chapter 14 gets into the allotment that is the inheritance on the west side of the Jordan. And the first one who wants to lay claim to it is none other than Caleb, Joshua's sidekick. As you know, Caleb is from the tribe of Judah, but Joshua is from the tribe of Ephraim. Let that sink in. Caleb reminds Joshua, he says, I have been faithful since the first time we were sent over with the other spies. And he says, I have been faithful to the word of Yahuwah from the very beginning. So he told Joshua that he wanted to lay hold of Hebron right here in the southern territory of Judah. And chapter 15 maps out the rest of the land for the tribe of Judah to the west of the Jordan. Now, if you would like a copy of this map right here, I'm going to have it in the community post. So make sure that you check it out because I'm going to be using this map for the next couple of days. Child, all I need is a backpack. Call me Dora the Explorer, honey. We just went to Israel today. So I want to read the last part of chapter 15 because I want you to see that Israel as a whole was not keeping true to the command of the Father. Let's read verse 63. The people of Judah were not able to drive out the Jebusites living in Jerusalem. So the Jebusites live with the people of Judah in Jerusalem till this day. Yahuwah Elohim commanded them to drive out their enemies and have no mercy, lest they become a snare to them. Do you remember that Yahuwah told Moses before he passed away, he says, this people will prostitute themselves and start to serve the gods of the lands. How do you suppose that happens? It's because they had a little mercy. They didn't drive out the inhabitants like they were commanded to. We not only see this with the tribe of Judah within today's chapter, but when we jump back into the map tomorrow, we will see some other tribes who do not drive out the inhabitants before them. And we will see later on how this becomes a really big problem. Well, Deep and Word family, I know that was short and sweet, but this is literally just mapping out their territory and their inheritance. There are a few lessons in between, but the lessons for the next couple of days are going to be relatively short. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed diving into the map today. Get your backpack because we're jumping back in the map tomorrow. That's all that I have for you today. Until tomorrow, Yah bless.